Welcome back. I hate to say it, but summer is winding down and that means it's already that time of year again. It's time to do some back to school shopping. Most families are expected to spend an average of $875 on those back to school items and that's according to the National Retail Federation's annual back to school survey. So of course we'd all like to save some money where we can. For that we're going to turn to financial advisor Jordan Flowers. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Michelle. Of course. So it's all very overwhelming when we start to add everything up. How can we shop smart? Yeah, these uh, expenses add up over time. And the one thing is for parents, they can get a tax credit through the educational expense credit. If they keep track of their tuition fees, their book fees, they want to give that to their accountant. And that could save them a few hundred dollars right off the bat. But when it comes to school shopping, you don't want to just go to one store. You usually want to look around, see the different stores, see what the best prices are. Um, you might want to sign up for loyalty programs and kind of see what the best deal is. Also, you want to look at kind of uh, researching ahead of time and seeing kind of that exact price, making sure you have a game plan to purchase that, and then look at price guarantees. A lot of stores like a Best Buy, they have a price guarantee where you can kind of get that best price, or maybe even after you purchase from the store, you can go to maybe a Target and they will give you a two weeks price guarantee where they'll give you a refund. So you wanna look at those options, make sure you get the best price, review that, and then make sure that you have a plan for your children. One of the biggest things for me, I believe in financial literacy, it begins at home. Maybe depending age appropriate and your child, maybe you create that game plan and that strategy with your child. So you give them a budget of X amount and you say, if you come under that budget, I'll give you the extra cash. Not only will they appreciate the slice more, but they'll learn budgeting at home. Um, so make sure you have a game plan, make sure you follow through on that, and make sure that the kids know how much you're spending, and then they'll appreciate even more. I like that. Really great tips there. Have a plan of attack, and then also don't forget about ways that you can potentially save money uh, on the back end of that shopping. Really, really great. And we were chatting a little bit beforehand about, of course, the cost of back-to-school shopping. It adds up, yeah. but when you think about college expenses, now you're really, really getting up there. Uh, when is the right time to really start thinking about saving for those expenses? The best time was yesterday, but the yeah. best we can do right now is today because uh, you know, back to school is expensive, but think of those college tuitions and, and those costs for uh, book supplies and tuition. We want to make sure maybe we start with a 529 now. In Illinois, you get a tax deduction. Let that money grow tax deferred. Then they can use that for qualified educational uh, courses for college or maybe even secondary courses uh, for private education. They can use up to $10,000 even through 12th grade. So. 529 is a great tool for college and for future education. I love it. Sounds like plan, 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 no matter what it is we're approaching. Jordan Flowers with Wealth Financial Services and Tax Advisory. Thank you so much. Thank you, Michelle. Wonderful.